What's up, movie lovers, and welcome back to The Lucid Nightmare. I'm your host as always, Jay Schatzer. And today I have a new segment. It's called Film This, and I'm going to be covering different graphic novels, comics, that I think should be adapted to the screen. So we're going to find a lot of weird, strange ones you might not have heard of before, but I'm going to start off with a property that everyone knows of, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, one of my favorites growing up as a kid. Still enjoy it, and I love the original comics that um, Peter Laird and Kevin Eastman made in 1984. And so that's what I'm going to be covering today on the first segment. Uh, it's kind of be focusing on the fugitive storyline where the turtles go into a interstellar adventure and take on the Triceraton race. Really fun stuff. Uh, hope you enjoy this new segment and let's just dive right in and see how it goes. So guys, without any further ado, here is the Ninja Turtles comic. Please film this somebody. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, published in May of 1984, is an essentially weird and surprisingly hardcore comic book series. Saturated in violence and uncharacteristically adult compared to its later iterations that were targeted more towards a younger audience, this wholly original concept created by Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird took the world by storm, resulting in endless variations countless cartoon series, and an ongoing film franchise that still thrives to this day. It's been brought to the silver screen multiple times, but for me personally, the story that I'd like to see on the big screen has still not been filmed yet. The story in question spans over a few issues published in the early 80s, specifically issues 4 through 7 known as the Fugitoid Arc which follow the Ninja Brothers on an interstellar adventure where they meet a runaway robot and battle humanoid dinosaur hybrid creatures on a far distant planet. Blending elements from Star Wars into the already mind-boggling concept of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the end result is something of a manic gem that really needs to be filmed in the live-action realm. The issue begins with the Turtles in fierce combat battling the Foot Clan on the rooftops of New York City. The action is fast and hyper-violent, showcasing the tonal ferocity of the original comic run. After dispensing with the Foot Clan in the most stylish of ways, the brothers discover the TCRI building, where their canister of ooze that transformed them into the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles originated from. Investigating the premises, the gang stumbles upon a kidnapped splinter and a race of strange alien beings known as the Autrum. But before they're able to rescue Splinter or get any answers, they are accidentally transported across the galaxy by the alien's transportation device and sent to an oppressive and futuristic world where they meet a brilliant scientist named Professor Honeycutt, who is inexplicably trapped inside the body of a robot and on the run. Now it's up to the turtles to keep him safe and out of the hands of a race of dinosaur creatures known as the Triceratons, who want Honeycutt's mind for their own nefarious plans. The four-part story arc is a splendid showcase of interstellar adventures and wild, unimaginable sights that truly beg to be filmed and one that I would love to see on the big screen. From wild shootouts in an alien-infested space bar to an epic gladiatorial battle between the Turtles and a Triceraton wrecking crew, the overall story is rich with cinematic moments that would genuinely thrill audiences to no end. The creature designs are stupendous, and the twists and turns of the narrative certainly weave a tremendous tapestry of space opera goodness that would reinvigorate the series and truthfully bring back the imagination and heart that is so lacking in the modern day retellings of this classic long-standing series. With a combination of live-action practical effects, and restrained and believable computer-generated mastery, I think this could be a science fiction classic in the making. Whether it happens or not, you really should check out the source material for yourself. It's wild at heart and unbelievably entertaining, giving you everything you could ever want in a classic Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles space-filled adventure. In the end, this is one chaotic and ultra-weird space opera that needs to be discovered. To sum it all up, Someone needs to film this. And there you have it, guys. That is the fun and enjoyable Fugitoid arc from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles comics that came out in 1984. Issues 4 through 7 to be specific. Just a really fun uh, comic book in general. 
I love the ultra violence that the Turtles had in their origins, and it's just a badass comic to say the least. A great sci-fi mix-up that uh, really should make a lot of people happy if they see it on the big screen, and if not, check it out in comic book form because it really is fun. But guys, that is it for me today. Hope you like this new segment, and I hope you like what I'm doing here. If you do, please like and subscribe, and if you have time, leave a comment below because I'd love to hear from you. But until then, I will see you all at the next movie or film this review. Take care.